This video covers Power SDR 2.7.2, KE9NS Revision T8, and some of the new additions I've added beyond the Griffin PowerMate uh, knob from the last video. The first uh, first feature is uh, one that you can't see uh, on a normal uh, normal circumstances. It's right here. Uh, if you've got a 5,000 with a second receiver there are times when you will want to mute just RX1 uh, but you still want the audio to go over VAC1 to you know to a PC program like for digital work and you want to continue to listen to RX2 so uh, in this case I enable RX, RX2 so now you're hearing both uh, but there's a little checkbox up here and if I check that, now I'm not hearing the, uh, uh, now I'm not hearing RX1, but I haven't tampered with the audio stream if I enable VAC1. So that's, that's the difference for that feature. Then the other feature is here, this one here. I've added, made it a little bit bigger, and I added two lines here. So now you have the option without opening up the spotter window. You know, typically you'd have you'd open up the spotter window, and you've got the sun tracker, which will, if you enable it, you get the uh, you get the solar data on the screen here. But for those who don't want that to do it that way, uh, you can continue to have all your spots on there. And over here, uh, you've got the solar flux, and it updates once per hour. Uh, that's a feature I added to both the Sun Tracker and to this. Uh, you get the solar flux, the A and the K indices. Like I said, it's updated at the top of every hour. And then this last line here would be for uh, any kind of space weather event like a radio blackouts, geomagnetic storms would go in that area there. And the last feature I've added is for CW. Uh, if you go into um, go into uh, CW mode you get this panel up here and you get the you get the panel opening up on the, uh, the console itself now these speeds are synced so if I adjust one uh, it will adjust the other and so now so as I adjust it you'll you'll see the numbers change and so if I also change it here you'll see a change over there the other, the last feature I've added is a poll for the CW key. So if you actually have a key plugged into the flex, <clears throat> now if you're transmitting one of the pre-canned messages or you're typing on the keyboard and you've got a full sentence or whatever, but either way, normally the only way to do it is to hit the escape key or actually click right here. Now you can actually just start pounding your key and it'll automatically interrupt and it'll stay transmitting, obviously, because you just hit the key and it'll start transmitting. Uh, so that's it.